I have indeed, how cool is this? So from one spotted cat feeding to another. So this is our first meeting, well, my first meeting of quarantine. And he's busy eating a little baby warthog that he's caught. He managed to grab one and the mother warthog is in the background busy watching what's going on as he's crunching away. The visual of him is not great at the moment because he's kind of tucked down, his head down in the gra grass feeding, but still super cool to see him. I can't believe we're actually finally getting to see him. I didn't think we'd have a situation where we would get to see him at all. He kind of has been hanging around so much on cheetah plains and in coral and torchwood that seeing him is a very, very, very big surprise. So super, super excited by this. It's really absolutely incredible to see him. Now, I wonder when he managed to catch this because the guy said that they followed him and he came here, but it must be a fairly fresh kill because there's a warthog in the background that's watching what's going on. Now, generally, warthogs won't stick around if one has been killed. They won't kind of just sit here and, and watch, you know, hours after it's happened. It's normally only if it's just happened, then they sit and they kind of watch what's going on and they work out, you know, what's happened to their little one. So I'm surprised that he walked in this direction. Maybe the presence of another leopard around, he kind of killed it and then walked off in that area just to check and then came back i don't know but super cool nonetheless that we got to catch up with him and he looks absolutely incredible he's big and full and healthy that's for sure i know he's come off another carcass just before this he had an impala that he was managed to feed on you can see how round his tummy is at the moment I'm sure a lot of you are super happy to see Quarantine. Hopefully he'll put his head up at some point because I still actually haven't even seen his face. It's just been ears through the top of the grass, but I'm sure he will. It don't, doesn't look like a very big carcass. It looks like just a little one, but you can hear him crunching away on those bones. And I wonder how big this is. Maybe one, this is one of the first little piglets of the summer because we haven't seen any tiny piglets just yet. There's been... It's the right time for them now. We should start seeing little piglets. So maybe this is a very small piglet. And if it is, well, he's going to eat everything. He'll crunch through literally every little bit of that carcass. He's going to go through its sort of skull, everything. Hello, boy. He's very beautiful. He looks just like a bulla to me. He's got that kind of bulla looking face and light colored eyes. What a treat to see him. I wonder if he's going to spend more time on Chitwa. That'll be wonderful if he does because it mean that we get to follow another one of the lineage of Karula. It seems as though the boys always tend to hang around and the girls are the ones that have kind of had a much harder time of it from her lineage. You know, we've Shavinzi went missing and now um, Shongile has also not really been seen very much. And so the boys are the ones that seem to be thriving in the form of Hosanna and quarantine and just, Shavambalana, they've all been around and all been kind of part and parcel of this area for quite some time and it's been much easier to follow their progress than it has been the girls which begs the question as to you know the theories that we all have we always think that females will almost portion off it a part of their territory to their daughters but you can see the males also have a have an ability to kind of edge in here and stay in here and with the older males that we've got around in the form of Mvula and Tingana there is opportunities for younger individuals like quarantine to set up territories and still stay within an area close to their mom's natal territory I mean this is where we are now I've I've once seen Karula this far to the east so it does happen from time to time that she used to come this way and so he is still kind of partly in his mom's territory, which is pretty amazing to think. You know, we always read books that say male leopards will be pushed away and that will never really be in their mother's territory when, you know, when they're younger, they'll be kind of cast aside and be nomadic and only maybe later they come into, back into those areas. But we can see very clearly, I mean, he ousted his brother basically in the form of Shavambalana, so not same litter, but he ousted his brother, pushed him into Kruger, and now Hosanna seems to be hanging around. And in fact, Hosanna from where we are now has just been found not very far. He's behind Chitra Dam Wall, so we're not that far away. And so he's around, Tingana's around. It's a seriously interesting male leopard dynamic that's going to unfold over the next few months. I think we're in for a serious treat and, and really, really going to be very, very fascinating to be able to see what goes on. Looks like he's almost done now. It doesn't seem like there's too much left there. I can't really see what's actually what he's got left in, in, in terms of how much of that carcass is still there. But just the way that he's feeding and, and the sort of the depth of the grass, it can't really be a very big 
um, carcass, it, it must be quite small because I can't even see any fur or blood or any bones or anything like that. And if it was a decent sized warthog, it would be um, would be visible. Now, Sky, you say this is either an appetizer or dessert. I would say appetizer. We're in the early hours of the morning, so this is his smoothie before his day starts. He's just having a little warthog for breakfast. And who doesn't like a bit of bacon and pork sausage for breakfast? Clearly, our leopards do. And you'll find Tingana and, and the likes, the bigger males, love to hunt these baby warthogs. And I'm pretty sure that Hosanna and Tumba will pick it up quite quickly as well. They're going to both learn very fast that young little piglets are a tasty morsel and that they can be quite easy to hunt in in that they obviously come out of of water burrows out of termite mounds and so i've seen a number of male leopards they sit on top of the mound and they wait for the adults to run out and then as the piglets come out they grab them so i'm sure the young boys will figure out the technique as well and it does make a really good appetizer and i suppose if you're as full as quarantine maybe dessert is actually a better call with all of this because he seems to have had his main meal already before this his belly is big and bulging and this is just a little snack just to keep things going or a little dessert just to top off the meal but there we go he's standing up now now he's a beautiful individual he's still not quite the size of Tingana or even Anderson Gajima those boys but he is a beautiful individual he's very pretty looking leopard that's for sure i'm super excited to actually see him so so cool but as i was saying it's pretty much finished now so hopefully he's going to go there's a really nice big termite mound behind us and i'm hoping that's where he's going to go and settle it's just on top of the mound and have a good kind of nap there but i'm so excited i actually am a bit of a loss for words because i didn't think i would actually see quarantine i've kind of written it off given that we weren't on Cheetah Plains and Torchwood area, and I didn't think I'd ever get a chance to spend time with this individual. So, super cool. He's a beautiful cat, though. Hello, boy. This is so cool. <laughs> it's always a, a good day when you meet a new leopard for the first time when you haven't seen one before and you get to see a new individual it is the best thing and as our word for the day or well, a new word that we have in camp now as Kirst has just mentioned in my ear this is a flabbergasting sighting yes it is Kirst I am flabbergasted at the fact that I get to see quarantine now careful your head Senzo there's a very big branch behind you and I don't want to decapitate you on our way back so there we go just going to make sure that Senzo doesn't get hurt and I'm just going to try and reposition it looks like quite a nice little open section just to the sort of front side of quarantine so I'm going to just try and get in there there's also a very large stump that I need to be very careful of as well so Ellen, you say quarantine will be five years old next month. So he's still a youngster. I mean, at the end of the day, male leopards really will only kind of reach fully, fully grown at seven. So he's still got growing to do and he will get bigger. He's a beautiful example of a leopard though. I can tell you that he is absolutely one of the better looking leopards I've seen. I, I don't know if he's quite as striking as Tumba, but he definitely is absolutely beautiful he's got a, I like his face he looks he reminds me of a young Mvula I don't know why he just does um, he's got a similar kind of boxy face and those eyes are of a similar kind of color so I suppose that's maybe why it feels like he's kind of that sort of way inclined the Mvula side of life and they all have a very similar all of his offspring have had a very similar look about them they kind of have rather large ears and then they have these kind of light colored eyes they're always very pretty leopards to see so there we go that should be quite a nice angle and quite a nice view to be able to spot him nicely so he's just going to groom himself off this is typical leopard behaviors once they've eaten is to make sure that they are clean and well looked after we saw it yesterday with Hosanna when he fell in the water after quarantine is now eaten it is time to make sure that they are as clean as clean can be because they don't like bits of meat on them they don't like to be dirty they don't like any of that stuff so they would rather be able to 
um, get themselves clean and, and to be able to kind of make sure that their coat is in good condition. I'm pretty sure though he's not going to be down for too long. He'll groom himself like this and with the fact that there are other um, warthogs in the area, maybe, just maybe, he might decide to go up onto the mound to be able to watch them. But this is epic. <laughs> I know he's not doing much and I know it's a, a leopard in, and he's grooming and we see a lot of leopards in this area and we're very fortunate to see them. But when you've waited a very long time to see a leopard and you've tried a lot and you've had kind of tough times to try and get to it to when you finally do get to see one it's really so cool so i'm super excited this morning and i'm very glad that i've managed to actually spend some time with quarantine well hopefully we'll spend quite a lot longer with them as well i we, i know it's kind of later in the drive but we'll definitely spend the remainder of our time here with him this afternoon well this morning and hopefully this afternoon he'll also be around a double dose of quarantine certainly won't hurt and if he's not around, we know that the young man, Hosanna, is also in the area too. So hopefully going to be a Karula-themed day, really, in, in terms of the offspring that she has that are in the area. And we only are missing Shongilia needs to come out. And then that would be the three that are kind of seen in this area regularly from her lineage. Right, well, I'm going to sit with quarantine a little bit longer, like I said. I'm going to try and enjoy the time that we've got with him and make sure that we really maximize every second that we can. And so while I kind of do that and follow him as to wherever he's going to go, let's go back to Scott, who's got some feathered friends.